hold in front of Woodpecker on the orange over there. Now, one thing you need to, that you need to practice with your binoculars, you need to practice pulling up the binoculars and having what you want to see in your field of vision. So we're going to practice with this hummingbird feeder. That is a skill that bird watchers have to have. Mr. Conway kind of got us all into birding. He's a really big uh, naturalist person. We asked him to create a team, and we we're now a birding team for our, our school. Oh. It helps a lot to like intertwine the hands-on visual scene and learning with like our curriculum. Just wait for moving there. Yeah. There's good movement just, there. Ooh. Ooh. That was close. Yeah. Look at that. This is a really good park for people who aren't real knowledgeable about nature. They can come out, they can see a lot of birds. There are over 500 species of birds in this ecoregion alone. A lot of the birds here are very colorful. You can't beat the color of an Altamira Oriole or a Green Jay. They're just beautiful birds. They're just wonderful to see. Okay, look right here. Look right here, guys, come look. Ooh, look on the ground, right there at the end of that stump there, there's a common paraki. He's sleeping on the ground, everybody see it? Looks just like the leaf litter, it's a beautiful bird. Nice. We invite them to come in and enjoy themselves for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> I'm Paul Love. I'm a, uh, just a volunteer here with the Audubon Society. They give me funds to purchase feed for the birds. I keep them fed and uh, they enjoy it and I enjoy it. It has sunflower seed, has peanut butter, cornmeal, oatmeal, anything I can find to put into it that I know they're gonna like. You can hear him, he's hungry. <laughs> There's stuff in the trees. Look, 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 look. There's like eight of them. Look who's on the corn on the cob. A green jay. Look at that. Whoa, get it. <laughs> That's awesome. And I can go to the outdoors and have something to do. And it's something, um, you know, it's kind of relaxing and peaceful. You can just need your binoculars and you can do it anywhere. So that's what I like about it. And you know, the birds are neat, you know, to see different birds. Hey, look at all those chachalacas sitting there. It's not very bright, but I like the noise it makes. It'd be a good ringtone, wouldn't it? Yeah. Chachalaca, chachalaca, chachalaca. <laughs> My favorite probably is the green jay. I know that's kind of like the the hallmark of South Texas down here. Everybody will come from miles around just to see that bird. It's just cool. A lot of them are, are like camouflage or blending in, but that one really pops out. See the Altamira Oriole there? He's beautiful. Look how orange and black. And that's just down here in South Texas. I actually enjoy being outside and looking at nature. Now it flew away from the feeder. There's all kinds of different species, so they're they have different colors or different bills, or they're just larger or smaller. Oh, on this right hummingbird feeder is another golden front of woodpecker. You see it? Yes. Drinking that sweet nectar. When you see the top of the head, see that little red top, red spot on the top of the head? That's a male. That's pretty clever. <laughs> wow, there's a lot more birds than I like realized. So now I'm like looking at birds more, I guess, than I had before. So it's it's fun. <laughs> This is South Texas, this Mother Nature. Yeah, Kids need to understand that and learn how Mother Nature uh, provides for everybody out here. This project was funded in part by Wildlife Restoration Fund.